variety of water te techniques utilized. Maybe it has something to do with BWS being a regional society encompassing seven states plus the District of Columbia from Northern mountains to Southern shores. It has always encouraged a broader range of artistic vision. Our society was founded in 1885 by five women and named after their city of Baltimore. And it's the third oldest in the United States. But a newspaper clipping from the early 1930s indicates that even back then, it welcomed painters from adjacent states, including a very young one from Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania, who according to the juror had promise. Today, as in past years, we had artists from all corners of our region who submitted absolutely beautiful paintings. Thank you first for sharing your exciting world works with us. Unfortunately, we couldn't accept them all. I would like to congratulate those artists whose paintings were selected for this, our premier exhibit, and especially the award winners chosen by our juror, Ann Abcott. Kudos to you all. Each one is a winner in our eyes. As you probably know, every juror has their own vision of what a show should look like and represent and which paintings should get awards. Two jurors given the same set of paintings would probably mount very different exhibits dependent upon their preferences and priorities. Some choose color, some choose composition, some choose emotional responses at first glance and some choose vibes. Our juror, Ann Abcott, meticulously looked for design, competition, repetition of shapes, and specifically the hand of the artist in the work. She chose a selection of paintings that represented the broadest spectrum of our entries. So a special thanks go to Ann for her hard work and the difficult choices she made. There's another Ann who's also closely allied with our Mid-Atlantic exhibit. And that is Ann Burton, the director of the gallery at the prestigious Black Rock Center for the Arts in Germantown. Ann couldn't be with us today, but she sent us her congratulations and good news. I would like to read her gracious letter, which echoes my own sentiments exactly. Dear Sharon, on behalf of the entire staff and board of trustees at Black Rock Center for the Arts, I want to congratulate all the artists whose paintings were selected this year for the 2021 Mid-Atlantic Regional Watercolor Exhibition. As always, I'm amazed by the wide variety of subjects, the many unique styles of painting, and the demonstrated mastery of water-based media techniques represented in the 104 paintings on display. I especially would like to congratulate the award winners on receiving special recognition for their exceptional paintings. I'm so pleased that the Baltimore Watercolor Society, thanks to the amazing show chair, Sharon Green, and her wonderful committee, have been able to continue this annual competition through online exhibits and, ex and events during the pandemic. And I'm thrilled to announce that Black Rock Center for the Arts is reopening our art galleries this fall which means that we can resume hosting at the in-person exhibit for the Mid-Atlantic Regional Watercolor Exhibition in 2022 and beyond. I'm truly looking forward to hanging art in the K Gallery again and welcoming everyone back to our beautiful nonprofit art center. I look forward to seeing you all again soon at Black Rock. Ann Burton, Gallery Director. Thank you, Ann. So after that, reading that letter, we have the promise of next year in Black Rock in person. I'm going to turn the program over to Sharon Green, our Mid-Atlantic Chair and her illustrious Mid-Atlantic Awards teams. But I would be remiss if I didn't say something else about them and about this event. There's an old saying that says, it takes a village to raise a chair, uh, raise a child. But in this case, it takes an organization and over a year to make this Mid-Atlantic exhibit, even a virtual Mid-Atlantic exhibit. Sharon Green has at this point, both wrangled and coddled 12 Mid-Atlantic exhibits into existence. From hiring the jurors a year or two 
before the exhibits, believe it or not, through waving goodbye to the last of the paintings being shipped home. She and her mid-Atlantic teams worked tirelessly for over six to eight months, long before anyone has even decided on a painting subject for their entry. Not just the mid-Atlantic teams are involved, however. Almost every member of the Board of Governors has their part to play in bringing about this exhibit. I am so proud of them all. They are all incredible. And so we welcome you to enjoy the fruits of their labors and of your labors, the incredible paintings, which are the stars of the show. Sharon, take it, it's all yours. Well, thank you, Sherry, for all those kind words. Um, it is an amazing thing to do. Um, and um, I am indebted to all of the people who, who lend their hand to do this. Um, so I would like to thank them. You know, April Rimpo and Deb Cohen are amazing in their technology and their patience with Zoom and guiding us all through this. It wouldn't happen without them. Um, Sherry has been very supportive uh, through all of the things that, that we have tried to do. Um, April, and once again, and Bob Coe put the images together and the data for, for the website. So um, what you can view on the website is thanks to them. Donna Kleinstuber and Janet Arsenault contacted vendors. Oh, 80 of them, and other watercolor societies and generous donors to gather the awards for this year. We have $14,000 worth of awards to give, which is more than we have ever done. They have done an amazing job. Brenda Cadera is our dear member and graphic artist who for years has crafted a catalog that I think is better than any catalog in this country. So it right now is at the printer and it will go to, God bless them, the US bulk mail service in Frederick who will be sending them out to all of you soon. It's being sent to every BWS member plus any non-member who submitted a painting for the show. So that means over 700 catalogs are going out and I don't have to carry them to the Lutherville post office this year. Um, Gay Holcomb is our treasurer and she has written checks for all of our award winners and they will be in the mail along with the beautiful certificates that Donna has crafted. And of course, uh, we have to thank BlackRock who has supported us over the years um, and will support us again next year with an in-person live exhibition and reception. So it will be a different year. I am, I'm severe, sincerely hoping. Um, on the website, should you choose to look at the, the exhibit that way, there are two options for interacting with us. Um, one is to purchase a painting. And we have already had one painting sell. Um, so invite your friends and family and patrons to view the exhibit and select something beautiful for their homes or their offices. And the other thing you can do is you can play juror. Um, once again, we have a People's Choice Award. You wanna to get to vote once, um, but look through the exhibit and if you were the juror, which painting would you select? for the gold medal. It's always an interesting, an interesting thing. Um, I think, goodness, I hope I haven't forgotten to thank anyone, but, but it has been uh, an amazing team to work with. So I am, I am very thankful. Um, I'm going to share my screen so that we can look at the 
paintings that were selected for awards. Uh, and when we get to a painting that is, um, uh, whose, whose artist is present with us today, we will spotlight them and um, you'll be able to put a face and perhaps a few words with a painting, which is always nice to, to do. All right, this painting is by uh, Robert uh, Bowden. He is not with us today, but it is a lovely landscape. The next painting is by Nishida Jane. Now she wasn't in. She's here. She's here. Okay, Nishida, would you like to tell us about your snowy scene? Oh, well, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity. You know, I love to paint uh, without planning too much. And this is just one of those paintings that grew organically. Um, I knew I wanted to paint snow. I knew I wanted to paint light falling on the snow. And this is what happened. Thank you. You are, you are very welcome. Uh, and the Sheeta's um, award was um, given to us by the Pittsburgh Watercolor Society. Sandy Yagel's painting is the next one. This is called At Rest. And Sandy's award was given to us by the Philadelphia Watercolor Society. I believe Sandy's with us. She's there. Okay. I am. Would uh, you like to tell us about your painting? This was a scene, this is my brother-in-law and his dog and they were resting and asleep. And it was such a moment of peace that drew me in and very compelling to paint. Um, so thank you so much for the award. It's, I'm quite honored, thank you. You are very welcome. It's a lovely painting. Uh, the next painting is by, um, now I'm forgetting the first name, um, Patterson. Um, I love the stripes on the sweater. The next painting is by um, Pam Wenger, um, who is with us today. Uh, her award was given to us by the International Society of Experimental Artists. And um, the name of her painting is The Skeptic. Pam? Hi, thanks for the award and thanks for being such a great society. Even though I'm central Pennsylvania, I consider you guys home team. Um, I can't wait to travel again because I'm digging through my old travel photos. This guy took his picture on uh, the Ponte di Vecchio at the Bridge of Gold in uh, Florence. And uh, I just thought he kind of radiated gold. He was probably actually disgruntled at some of his fellow travelers and waiting for them. But I thought the skeptic uh, had a little more oomph to it. So uh, I can't wait to resume the travels and get more photos. Thank you, Pam. Oh, come on. This is Susan Stoller's painting. She is not able to be with us today. She is traveling. This is Michael Scherfen's painting. He is not able to be with us today. This is Alexis Levine's painting. Alexis was our, our gold medal winner last year um, and uh, has done another wonderful painting for this exhibit. Allie Morgan has been um, given an award for by the Princeton Artist Brush Company, the uh, Kaufman Award, and um, the name of this painting is Girls 2. Allie, would you like to tell us about your painting? Oh, well, thank you so much for this award. I really appreciate it. Um, this painting 
is based on my relationship with animals and specifically dogs. I was trying to create a very balanced painting where the notions about what is human versus what is non-human animal can be broken down and we can see these two figures for what they are as being very similar. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> very nice, thank you. Thank you. Stacy Lund Levy has painted Treading Tribe. Um, the award has been given, donated by Frederick's Canvas, and uh, I'll let Stacy tell the story of this when I know it. Stacy? Well, first, thanks for the award. I'm delighted. Um, this is my crew over uh, one of my friends, uh, the lady on the right. Uh, owns a pool and during COVID we socially distanced um, and treaded water for exercise and it was my sanity for the entire the entire summer and on and we got in at 7 a.m cold raining whatever and um, it's it's really been an experience and they were nice enough to model for me so thank you very much. <laughs> Stacy, tell us about the oh. camera that you use to do uh, the photos. So my friend at the time had a um, had an, uh, the latest iPhone, which is waterproof, and it takes amazing pictures. So I've done a whole series of paintings um, with this, and I've learned to hold my breath really, really <laughs> well. <laughs> so it's just an iPhone camera. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. This painting is by Sidra Kaluska. It's called Three Fates. And she has received the Chart Pack Excellence Award. Sidra, would you like to tell us about your painting? Thank you so much. It is um, a bunch of succulents. Um, I am a gardener and I actually just came in from watering my garden. <laughs> Um, I am obsessed somewhat with plants and um, organic life, and I just enjoy showing um, bits of nature as something that's alive and vibrant rather than as objects. And I have a thing for lighting, so I just really try to up the lighting in such a way that it creates a glowing kind of light force within my work. Are, are these actual plants from your garden? They look a little frightening. <laughs> um, they're um, hen and chicks. So, oh. Um, yeah. So, so they're little tiny plants yeah, that you have like, made. Yeah, big and frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, this is a painting by Arda Jolliff, who is not with us um, today, um, but a wonderful interpretation of a canna plant. That nice blurry background. Valerie Anderson has painted Trois which is French for three, because I have a French minor, I know that. <laughs> um, and she has received the Colson Art Printing Award. Valerie, wanna tell us about your painting? Yes, and thank you so much for the award. Um, yeah, I have, I think, always had an attraction to reflected images. And this actually came from um, a time when we were able to travel and we were in Paris and the mannequins there were just fascinating. Oh. And the image reflected on the, um, uh, on the, the window and uh, just, I was really taken by it. And so this is one from a series of that, um, that uh, experience that was there. Would you like to comment on your limited palette? Yeah, I, um, I don't know how to comment on it. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I think I'm like 
extremely colorful. And someone once said, I, gee, you don't really like color much, do you? Um, I just, uh, I, I don't have a reason for why this is what it was. Um, but yeah, it, it certainly is. As I look at it, yeah, I have a bit of complementary colors in there, yeah. but um, not much, um, not much else. Um, just somehow whatever strikes me at that moment. <laughs> so yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Nicely done. Nicely done. Thank you. This painting um, is by Elizabeth Castellano King. It's called Moored at Hallbox. And she has received the Cheap Joe's Art Stuff Award for this. Liz? Hi. Um, thanks again for the award. It's awesome. Um, this is from Holbox, Mexico. We go out there every year. And to go out and capture this boat in the water is just something that um, I really was caught by it than the, the glimmer in the water and try and capture it. And I uh, guess I caught it. Nicely done. Nicely done. Thanks. I like the way the boat breaks the horizon at a very critical point. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Liz. Thank you. This is a painting by Matthew Bird. He's not with us today. Matthew is one of our, our Baltimore area artists. David Eakin has painted this and it's titled The Gossips. You're gonna to have to explain that, David. And David got the Hanamula Paper Award. Hey, Sharon. Wait a minute, my camera just did something. Thank you so much. It's always an honor to get into the show and then to receive an award is just wonderful. Um, I've been doing a series of intuitive paintings that start out very, very loose. And then I search for shapes and I saw a figure of a head and then some figures in the background. And then you start I bringing think you have. just for snacks. I grew up with an exception. So um, it's a lot of intuitive work based on a rock formation in uh, Arches National Park. Oh. Well, thank you, David. Well, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it so much. This is a painting by our own Janet Bellish, capturing a wonderful scene in a cafe. This is a painting by Eleanor Cox. It's called South Nag's Head. And um, the, the award for Eleanor is a combination of materials and um, cash. Um, it's from Daniel Smith Artist Materials, FM Brush Company, Frederick's Canvas, Jerry's Artarama, and Plaza Art. Eleanor? Well, thank you very much. It's always very exciting and honored to have been have accepted in the uh, BWS show. I'm a lifetime, long time member since 1978. And we, we live in Richmond now, but I first initially got started in watercolor right in Baltimore. I, so it's very dear to my heart. I know all of you have worked very hard as you do every year. And Fritz Briggs was one of my first instructors. But anyway, I do traditional watercolor as well as I have fun with some experimental things that I do. And this is, uh, we have a cottage at Nags Head. And so I like to do, uh, use that for references, for materials from which to choose, and it's fun. And I love to do the Karen Dash. I like to draw with the marks and make some marks and have the different 
uh, complexity of the surfaces. So that's one of the things that always is intrigued me as part of a series that I've done on uh, the beach pictures. Well, I like this. I When I first saw it, I thought, well, what a lovely um, non-representational painting. And then I started to look and there are figures in there and there's a guy sitting under a beach umbrella and there's somebody with a barbecue grill. So you have, in my opinion, combined abstraction and, and, uh, and realistic painting very successfully. Well, and evidently Ann Abgott think, thought so too. So well done. Thank you, I appreciate it very much. It's, it's fun to be part of the exhibition, of course. And Great, thank you. You're welcome. This painting is by Kathleen Giles, um, and the title is Soulful Eyes. The award uh, is once again, a, a combination of materials and, and cash. Um, it's given to us from Air Float Systems, uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's uh, Frederick's Canvas, Jerry's Artorama, Silver Brush Limited Award. Kathleen? Oh, we're gonna have to unmute you. Wait, okay. there you go. Okay, all right. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's nice to be here today. And this was, I was, I was thrilled to win the award. And uh, I noticed on my screen, it looks a little more saturated than it really is, but I don't know how it looks to everybody else. But this, uh, this, this woman modeled for me several times and uh, I've painted her. I just have a lot of fun with her hair, putting a lot of color in. And then I had, um, sometimes I'll take my photo references and run them through different apps. And I had one that put a lot of greens on her skin. And I just thought it, it just looked like heat. And I just thought it made her skin glow. So I just kind of went with it and had a lot of fun painting this. But the way her eyes just I don't know, her eyes just glowed and I thought Soulful Eyes was a good good name for this. But this is just kind of a fun one that I did. And uh, I was thankful to get the award and um, it's nice to be in the show. It's nice to meet some of you people. So this is very nice. And if you will allow me, Kathleen, to announce that you are going to be our juror and yeah. workshop instructor yeah. for 2022 so um mm -hmm. we will okay. have um yeah, coming out we, we will have some interesting things to do together i am yeah. sure yes yes i'm looking forward to coming and uh hopefully we'll be doing the workshop in person next year and uh i'll be judging the show so it's going to be an honor and i'm excited about it well we will be delighted to have you here thank you Thank you for all you do to, to, to put the show together. I know it's a tremendous amount of work. Well, it is an amazing connection to an amazing artist community. That's, that's, uh, that's my, my big bucks pay. <laughs> <laughs> this next painting is by Anne Green um, and it's called Halfway Between Ragtime and blues. Um, the awards for this painting come from Classic Homes of Maryland, FM Brush Company, Frederick's Canvas, HK Holbein Artist Materials, Watercolor Artist Magazine. And Oops. It's on hey. mute. Okay. Hi, thank you so much for this award. I, I'm really, really thrilled. Um, I've been interested, I've always liked to paint intuitively and abstract expressionism just really gives me uh, a really, really um, option to do this as well as, as challenge, especially in transparent watercolor. Um, I like abstract um, because I think it allows the artist um, voice and ideas to be seen, but I think it also invites the viewer to participate and hopefully to stimulate a conversation. I think your title is really interesting. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how you chose it? 
Um, I, I think the, the blue colors um, were a, a big part of that. Um, I also, the line work reminded me a lot of maybe stringed instruments um, and there was a lot of motion in the painting as well. So it just sounded like a, an interesting it, title. It feels, it feels musical, right? It, it does. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. This painting is by Denny Bond. It's called Welcome to My World. Uh, for those of, Denny's not with us today, but for those of you who know Denny's work, he's exhibited with us any number of times. He has, how should I say this, an affection for older objects that he has put in his paintings. I am particularly fond of that green telephone painting he did a number of years ago. But um, he's, he's a, um, uh, an excellent artist and we're delighted to have him in our show again this year. Lois Wolford is one of my weekly painting buddies and I'm so delighted to see that she has received recognition for her painting this year again. This one's called green chairs. I think she named it after me, right, Lo? Right. <laughs> uh, and, and the award was given to us by Stonehenge Aqua Watercolor Paper. Um, by, uh, by Legion Paper is the company that provided the uh, Stonehenge paper to us. Lois, want to tell us about your painting? Yes, first of all, thank you very much for the award. I really appreciate it. Uh, this painting was based on a scene that I saw outside the Whitney on one of our many trips to New York. Um, you know, the bus trips that the BWS takes. And I was just drawn in by the long afternoon shadows that were created by the figures in the chairs and also by the repetition of all the yellow green, that acid green, acid green chairs that they had out there. It just drew me in right away. So, um, that's pretty much it. Nice, nicely done. And I like, I like the format. It's not the conventional quarter sheet format or whole sheet format, um, which, which is sometimes much more difficult to get a good composition working, but you did oh, it. Thank you. I really like, I've been working a lot in this format, the long thin format. I've done a number of paintings like this and I, I really enjoy that format, so. Um, yeah, it makes for uh, an interesting size and, and interesting results. So yeah. thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, this painting is by John Byerly. It's called Glacial Thunder. You can almost hear that waterfall. John is not um, joining us today. And this painting is by um, Tim Saturnow. Um, it's called Famous Sichuan Pell Street, Chinatown. This painting is our bronze medal award given to Bill Jagger. It's called Eruption. Um, Bill has been a longtime BWS member and an award winner. Um, and Anne Abgott was struck by making two objects work in a painting rather than a balance of three. Um, and she commented about the abstract quality of this work. So Bill, I, have, I hope I haven't stolen your thunder, but <laughs> un unmute yourself there and uh, there you uh, go. And tell us about your painting, please. Um, okay, um, do I have to do something here to unmute myself? No, you're good. I'm good, okay. Um, yeah, we have these flowers on our counter and 
you know, they'd been there for several days and then just one morning they just lit up and it, I just couldn't take my eyes off the front flower and it just looked to me like it was exploding and um, I knew I'd have to paint it. Um, so I took a bunch of photographs, but I was afraid of it. I was afraid of the, I didn't know how I could do it. It just seemed too complicated, too, too, um, uh, just too much. So I, it's been kicking around in my head for probably four years. Um, and then I kind of worked it out in my head and I just jumped in and I did it. But I had to really, like you said, abstractly, I had to, I had to start just a petal at a time and kind of do an abstract shape to build the painting. Otherwise, I think I would have froze, but um, it certainly turned out great. And I also want to thank you for the honor. It's, uh, it's great to be uh, recognized. Thank you. You are most welcome. It's a shame we're, we're not in person because at this point I put the little medal around your neck and we do the little <laughs> French foreign legion, kiss on each cheek thing. So that's, a, it's a virtual. I'm looking forward to the in-person ones coming up, yeah. We are too. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It's okay. Yep, Sorry. okay. Bill, Bill's daughter has been his, how shall I say this, assistant delivery person for a number of years when we have live exhibits. And it's always been a pleasure to have them both come and, and uh, visit with us when we're receiving paintings. Yep, she's my cohort. <laughs> yeah. My co-worker, thank you. This painting is by a new participant in the Mid-Atlantic Regional Watercolor Exhibition. Um, David Althwaite is from New York City um, and has painted rocks at Arcadia National Park in Maine uh, and is being given the silver medal by the Baltimore Watercolor Society for his work. David? Hi, everybody. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm really delighted uh, with this whole competition. And I thank you so much for the award. I really do appreciate it. Um, a few words about the painting. Um, the main reason why I was attracted to this view from the Acadia National Park in Maine was from the vantage point of this ledge of rocks in the foreground, looking down to that water below. To me, it was extremely dramatic. And I immediately looked for my camera and took the shot. Um, I was also drawn to the relationships of the shapes in the rocks and the water, the curly cues and the flat areas. Those are the main reasons why I decided to make this painting. Also, I would like to say that um, I live here in America, but I am British and the traditional medium for British artists is of course watercolor. And to me, it comes very naturally to work in watercolor. And I was delighted to find that the uh, BWS existed. And, um, you know, I hope to continue some kind of liaison with you. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that a number of the other paintings appealed to me a great deal. But I particularly like the very first one that you showed today by Nishita, uh, mainly a black and white related landscape, which I thought was extremely beautiful. And I wanted her to know that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, David, you could go into the People's Choice Award and vote for her painting. I will do that. Yeah. <laughs> this is our gold medal painting, um, painted by um, Sydney Rubin. Um, and its title is Projection. Sydney is not able to be with us today um, due to illness in her family and, and we're sorry that she cannot celebrate um, this wonderful achievement. Um, but let me, let me just say a few things about this painting. At, at first I said, what? And then I thought, 
there's a message to this painting. Um, and and it's, it's beautifully painted. It's simply painted with very subtle color change, both in the wall and in the floor. And I, and I particularly like the posture of the figure who is leaning in to try to understand what this painting is all about. And, and perhaps that's the lesson for all of us. We need to kind of lean in and figure out what our paintings are all about. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, I'm taking a, a quick peek at, at the things in chat. It doesn't look like there are any catastrophes that have happened during, during our um, brief and wonderful time together. Um, Sharon? Yes. It's Sherry. Go ahead. Um, I have, I had asked um, Sydney and the other award winners on, for the medals for a statement to go in our newsletter as we do each year in, our, in their own words. And Sydney sent me a short one, but um, I think it's very good. And I would like, just like to read it in Please her do. words. Okay. And you'll see it again in, in the newsletter. She said, there is something about the universality and the particularity of being a viewer. All of us could be looking at the same piece or the same body of work and are all more than likely to see and feel and think something different from one another. Each piece of art affords us the opportunity to exercise our eyes anew, to happen upon something for the first time we are bound to bring every experience with every piece before this one along with us, projecting our own history and our own ideas onto the work. That, that is poetic. That is, it is absolutely lovely. Well, friends and fellow artists, I think we have done it. Um, I thank you all for being here um, and and it was you know unfortunately we didn't have any you know treats to eat or good things to drink together but we will next year and um, yes. I want you to get those brushes out and get that brush touching that paper with beautiful pigment on it and send us incredible images again next year in person so. at Black Rock in person at BlackRock. Well, thank you all very much for coming today and thank you, April and Deb, for all you do to make this happen. Any final words? Well done. Okay. All right, so so we'll be ending our meeting now. Okay. We will. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>